What's up guys and welcome back to another video of GP Products, the performance company. And luckily for you, today you don't have to look at my annoying face for the entirety of the video because on the day we were filming this one, I simply couldn't make it. But we sent our lovely colleague Benjamin over to Gentlebright to help with the installation of a charge air-cooled by CSF for a G99 M5. And for our well-informed viewers, you will know that G99 is the touring version of the G90 M5. And usually on the channel we only see the G90, which is the sedan, the big one. But today you will get to see the touring version, so enjoy this video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video of GP Products, the performance company. Today we are at Gentle Bride in Utrecht, the Netherlands, and we are going to film the BMW M5 G99. The car already have a few parts um, on the exterior modifications, however, we are going to check out the engine bay. We have an inventory intake in, finished in matte, which is amazing, and a crap OV system, and to make it even more cool, not only look-wise, but also performance-wise, we are going to install the CSF charge cooler. So the guys already started working on the BMW and they have to remove the inventory intake and I would say let's take a closer look to how they are going to build it. So basically to make a little bit more room uh, in the engine bay right now we're just removing the inventory intake so we can lift up the stock um, charge coolers and then just install the CSF. So as we said, the CSF charge coolers, it's quite an easy product to install. It's basically a plug and play. However, there is one major um, difference what we have to do a modification, which means is the mounting pins. And these are for the OM ones are a little bit bigger. Uh, and for the CSF, because of the size, we need to cut them to about 8, 10 millimeters. Uh, we have a very easy instruction manual from CSF itself, how to do it. And then, yeah, we are just going to cut them uh, to the size and put them in all together. CSF is a company with a very rich racing history and their knowledge these days is applied to all kind of road cars. And if you want to have a full in-depth explanation of why CSF is so special, well click this link. Well you will immediately go to the video we made which we call customs on these classic Porsches. But as I already said, CSF makes cooling systems for every brand on the market. Well, almost every brand. You all know that BMW guys are very into their power and very into tuning their cars. So luckily for them, CSF is an entire range for BMWs. And today, I already said it and you already saw it, it's about a G99 M5, which has the S68 engine in it. And that engine is powerful, very powerful, especially combined, combined with the hybrid power. But there is one drawback. Now these engines can be pushed very hard. There are cars on stock internals producing 900 horsepower, but the problem with producing 900 horsepower is that a lot of heat gets produced and a lot of heat soak is happening. What the best solution there is, is to install charge air coolers by CSF to make the car better at transferring the heat and eliminate all the heat soak. You can do a pull on stock internals and you can produce 900 horsepower, but as you keep doing those pulls, which you will, because you want to enjoy your 900 horsepower, the car will get soaked with heat, so the, the power will diminish very quickly. But if you want to produce those numbers again and again and again with every pull, you should install a charge air cooler by CSF. Now, I know you guys all believe me on my word, but luckily for us, my colleague Benjamin put the stock charge air cooler and the CSF charge air cooler side by side to make the comparison clear and why CSF is so much better. So we just removed the, the stock charge cooler from uh, the M5 and we decided to put them side by side and have a better look at, um, at the product. One thing, um, does size matter? Yes, of course it matters. And we can already see that the CSF charge cooler is way bigger um, compared to the OM1. With the OM1 it's 
perfectly fine for a daily drive. However, when it comes to real performance on back-to-back uh, -on -back pools, sometimes the, um, the temperature gets higher, especially on track days, and that makes the power loss. However, with the charge cooler from CSF, that problem of losing power goes away. If we have a look at the stock one, um, it is quite small and it has a lot of plastic parts attached to it. Um, so we have the plastic entry, the plastic which goes into the engine mounts. However, if we have a look at the CSF one, this is only one part completely. Everything is cast aluminium with a TIG welding build. And if we have a look closely, it's such an amazing product. This one is finished in a satin gold finish. Uh, you know, to have a completely um, cool view on the engine bay. And of course, the, the intake goes all the way in. It's only one piece. So when I was talking about the, the stock one, that is perfectly fine for the stock and the daily drives. However, if you really want to take your BMW to, to push it to the limits, let's say, and installing it the CSF charge cooler, that would allow you to take your uh, BMW to a whole new level, including even a methanol injection into the car. So um, right now, as we are almost ready for the installation, we are going to take the CSF and put it in the BMW. We're almost ready with, uh, with the build. Um, we just installed the CSF charge coolers. Um, we're just finishing the, the final touches, like plugging in the sensors, the, the tubes. Um, afterwards, the inventory intake will go back in place and we're ready to go. So there you have it guys, uh, the BMW is uh, ready, we have the CSF installed, basically it's an easy job, you just need to remove the OEM ones, cut on the pins, the mounting pins, you just have to cut it a little bit because the CSF one is a little bit bigger, put it in place, put everything all together, it's a plug and play and that's it. Now very coincidentally, I couldn't make it for this video to do the dirty work, but luckily my colleague Benjamin was up for the challenge and I thank him very much for that so I can go on holiday without having to worry about what happens to this video. So Benjamin, thank you very much. If you like our content and are up for the ride, click subscribe, click the like button, and I will see you next time.